This is the Mamiya 7. It is a medium format rangefinder camera, and by all accounts, it is one of the most revered medium format cameras to date. It came out in 1995 and they stopped making them in 2014. It is a beautiful, beautiful camera. My husband and I are on our way to Nashville and I'm going to take some shots while I'm there so that I can share with you exactly how wonderful this camera is. I'm done developing the film from Nashville, and I also shot a few rolls when I got home. I've also developed those, and I have to say that overall, I am really impressed with the Mamiya. Even though there was low light for some of the images that I captured, I feel like there is a ton of character and vibe to the photos, and I really love how some of them came out. And I think that's really how it goes for most people. You take 10 photos, when you're shooting on the Mamiya, you take 36 when you're shooting 35 millimeter and you get a few that you really love. I also captured some pictures of one of my friends and those images are absolutely stunning. I feel like the clarity and detail that I was able to get in those images was something that I wasn't even expecting. I love how blown out the background is and how whimsical it looks, and at the same time having all of the detail in her face. I thought that those images were truly beautiful. The Mamiya is a medium format rangefinder camera. And when you hear something referred to as a rangefinder camera, it is typically referring to the way that the camera focuses. This is what it looks like when you look through the viewfinder of a Mamiya 7. Because this is a rangefinder, you can see this light square in the center of the viewfinder. And you use that to focus your image. I've set this picture on the sofa as my subject so that we can practice here. I'm going to rotate my focus ring and you can see as I am focusing, there is a double image that is occurring. In the middle of this light square, you see the edge of the picture, but it is moved slightly to the left. And you rotate your focus ring until those images line up. And when they line up, that is when you know that you are ready to take your picture. Another detail about the fact that this is a rangefinder camera is that when you are focusing your image, you are looking through the viewfinder. You're not actually looking through the lens. So it gives you an estimation of what it is that you're going to see when you take a picture. It is not an exact estimation. Anything inside of these white lines is what will be inside your image. This little roll of film you see will not be in my image or should not be in my image. It's everything on the inside of these dotted white lines. The next thing we need to cover is the fact that medium format cameras take a larger size film. So for the Mamiya, you are going to be putting a 120 millimeter roll of film into the camera versus a 35 millimeter film that you would put into a 35 millimeter camera. What that means is you will be getting less shots per roll of film. With my Mamiya, it's going to be 10 pictures per roll of film, where with your standard 35 millimeter film, you're going to get 36 pictures per roll of film. The fact that your rolls of film are so much larger means that you're going to get a lot more information per picture. This is an example of medium format film side by side with 35 millimeter film. The film itself is almost double the width of 35 millimeter film. So with that, you are going to get more information per picture than you would on a 35 millimeter camera. With 35 millimeter film, you have a hard canister that the film lives in. But with 120, it is only a paper sheath around the outside that is protecting your film. You have nothing holding the light out other than that. That is why it's incredibly important to make sure when you are loading and unloading your film, you keep 
a mild amount of tension on the outside of the paper roll so that it doesn't accidentally unravel and expose your film to light. The film lives underneath this paper. So there's a little bit of protection there, but not much. It's not the same as a hard film canister that you get with 35 millimeter film. It's a lot more delicate. You have to be careful with it. There are only a few cons to the Mamiya for me. And the first one is how difficult it was for me to capture images in low light. I was able to capture some moments that were really fun and had a lot of character to them. But at the same time, there's a part of me that was hoping that I was going to get a little bit more in the clarity department. That for me does register on the list as being a con. And the only other con I would say the Mamiya has is that its large size does make it difficult for you to be inconspicuous. If you're holding this up to your eye and taking pictures of people, people are gonna notice that this big old thing is covering most of your face. It's kind of hard to be sneaky. There are a lot of pros to this camera. I would recommend though, when you are shooting, because it is difficult to shoot in low light, to get a light meter. You can purchase them on Amazon and I'll have links for that down below. You're gonna wanna make sure you have a light meter for this one. This camera does have this grip on the side. It is very stout and I feel like it's not going anywhere when I'm holding it. It's not gonna fall out of my hand. I've got it. It's, it's really sturdy and I do love that about this camera. The other thing is that the quality of the material that is used for this camera feels very high end. It doesn't feel clunky. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break. It feels like it is made with high quality material. And I bring that up because I have used medium format cameras that are close to the same price as this camera that did not feel that way. It felt very clunky and it felt like I was about to break something on the camera. So I can attest to the durability of these cameras and how high quality they feel when you're shooting them. Another thing that's really awesome about this camera is that you get 10 images per roll of film rather than eight like you would with something like a Hasselblad because it is a six by seven format. You get 10 images per roll of film, but also when you're loading the film, it's pretty easy to load it once you've learned how to do it. This camera makes it really easy for you. It doesn't feel clunky and it doesn't feel like it's difficult or the film's gonna unravel on you. Once it's in there, it feels super secure. If you've loaded other medium format cameras, you probably know what I'm talking about. But if not, the Mamiya is a good one to load film on. I do have a video that I've done on how to load film into the Mamiya. If you'd like to watch that and are interested, you can find that here. And this is also something that you can apply to other types of medium format cameras. There are a lot of similarities between the different kinds of medium format cameras when you're loading the film. A few features worth noting about the Mamiya that I think are very unique to this camera. And the first is this shutter lock button. When this dial is turned so that it is on the red dot, the shutter button is locked and you cannot take a picture. But to open it, you just turn it to the white dot and you're good to go. That's something that's really helpful when you're pulling this out of your camera bag or out of your Pelican case, whatever it is being stored in, to keep you from accidentally taking a picture because it's not hard to do that. I've done it myself. <laughs> the other feature about this camera that's really cool is that it has this dark slide lock. You can turn the dial so that it is facing the closed, the closed Pac-Man and that closes the dark slide. This keeps your film protected when you are changing out lenses. It also is a good idea to just keep it closed if you're not using it, just in case, as a precautionary measure. To open it, you're going to pull down on this little button that has the arrow, and you're going to slide the dark slide open. If you're having an issue with taking your pictures, you realize that the shutter button is not locked and your film is loaded, everything is essentially working, there's no lens cap on your camera, but you're still not able to take the picture, check the dark slide because that's likely the issue and you wanna unlock that or open it before you move forward and take your pictures. Here are a few more images from the Mamiya so that you can see exactly what this camera is capable of. I will have all the gear used in today's video linked down below if you'd like to check that out. 
And don't forget to subscribe because it is a great motivator to help keep me making these videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tilly Scholl, and I'll catch you on the next one.